Now note that the previous uh, Galaxy S had 16 MP camera. This one has 12 MP. They trimmed down the resolution because they made the pixels bigger, 1.4 microns. It also has a slightly bigger um, you know, sensor size, 1 by 2.6 inch, and the same 1.7 aperture. It's a very fast aperture, both on the back as well as on the front camera on both these devices. Same. Now, uh, it also has what Samsung calls as a dual pixel technology. That's a part of a PDAF face detection autofocus system. You might know that Canon 70D had a dual pixel technology. What it does is that all the pixels in the sensor have two diodes on both the sides. One diode is used to take up uh, the light. Um, so before both the diodes were used to take up light, but now, uh, each pixel had one diode that takes up the light and another diode that autofocus. So 100% of the pixel also help in autofocus. That makes the whole autofocus system very, very fast. We'll probably um, you know, explain this in a later um, a video, but this one should be extremely fast. We're gonna test that. And then you have sensors and the LED flash. Very nice, very premium body. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the camera. It's very, very fast. S6 camera was one of the best in the market and I don't uh, expect anything less from the S7 camera. And it already has been getting rave reviews. The 12 MP you can see 4 by 3 aspect ratio and 4 by 3 aspect ratio. In 16 by 9 you have to come down to 9.1 MP. That's a disappointment for me because the sensor is not a wide angle sensor. You have some of the other settings around here. Max video sizes stay same UHD. Hey, what's up guys, Pallav here and we are checking out the front 5MP camera of the Galaxy S7 Edge and straight away you can see, uh, you cannot see actually, what I saw is that uh, the video actually cuts the sensor into very small part, that's one of the things, so it's not exactly 5MP videos, video resolution, but that's how it looks, it quite smoothens my skin though, and it also corrects the exposure quite nicely and immediately here yeah. and one good thing is even when I'm in the shadow it tries to give a it tries to give maximum you know detail to my face here as much as it can at least but when I go to good light then it's very very good see The stabilization is also good, not bad. The color reproduction you can see on the back is not bad as well. But it's kind of slightly overexposed, this part, this part. The field part there. But overall, I think a brilliant front camera here. Hey, what's up guys? Pallav, we are from nothingwire.com and we are sampling the 12 MP camera on the Samsung Galaxy S7. And this is the 4K video resolution. The color reproduction is amazing. And that's how the PDAF works or the dual pixel technology, which is very fast, you can see. But it also loses the focus quite fast is what I've seen. Or have I gone too close here? Maybe I've gone just too close, but there. Wow, that's some demonstration of the dual pixel technology jet that's lightning fast i've never seen a phone focus that fast it's bloody impressive and also the shadow areas are rendered very very good 
you can see it expo it, it compensates the exposure greatly and now it's suddenly all shadow but when you go here the metering is great and it kind of exposes the whole thing properly very nice and when we have an overexposed areas here by the way the color i see slight over saturation of that color but that could be because of my super amoled screen we have to see on the pc that part is harsh sun but even then i think the exposure is quite okay it's not burning out much of the portions and that's the sky of course what i'm looking at is the exposure compensation which is quite brilliant awesome camera very nice we are possibly looking at the best camera of 2016 and specifically the dual pixel technology i'm gonna show you again okay that's like that's super cool man that's that's unlike anything i have seen this could be my next vlogging camera thank you